Hello, my name is Martin Buttery, the UK Business and Test Ranges Manager for Ely Limited, and welcome to the Ely Test Range. Today we're going to be talking about batch testing and the importance of it, as mentioned in previous videos. Our range here is state of the art and it's located at our factory in Sutton Caulfield, Birmingham. The process of testing is pretty simple format, but it does entail some work. So the customers come in, we set their rifle up in our voice systems here, shoot down a 50 meter tunnel at a mate and electronic target, which is accurate to one hundredth of a millimeter. I then have bespoke software that allows us to analyze the results at the end of the test. But before then, the customer has some work to do first. They shoot a series of 10 shots of each batch of ammunition we have on the shelf. Normally that can be anything between 16 and 20 available on the day. Once I've done this, we then analyze this together, myself, the range manager and the customer, to select the best ones that we want to test for phase two. Phase two, we then select, obviously the selected groups, we test a further three times. So in total, we end up with four 10-shot groups. What we're looking for is consistency. As we know now, consistency is the key to accuracy. So once we've finished and completed the test and completed the cleaning of the rifle, we then look at the results in the office. We can see clearly on the screen this particular batch is really consistent and that's what we're looking for. The 13-0, 13-1, 13-2 and 14-9. We then got an indication of the average group of those four numbers of 13-6. It's interesting to look down at further ones though, 14-2 here. Again, fairly consistent but slightly larger on the groups. If we scroll down we can see other ones here, consistent across the board with a low average. But this software does more than that. It allows us to actually, on the analysis part, to actually look at 40 shot groups. The first one we looked at with the 13 mil groups, overall is 16.6 with a 422.4 score. On the graph, you can clearly see the one shot, which is down below on the diagram, is a 10.1, and then 10.3 upwards from the next 39 shots. A large amount of 10.5s, 10.6s, 10.7s and 10.8s give us an overall predicted score of 636.43. That was if you're shooting a 60 shot pro match on a decimal. Bear in mind the world record is 633. As we move down to the next one that we looked at on the 10 shot groups, you can see it's put them together, although the 10 shot groups are slightly larger than the previous batch it's actually put them together better to create a smaller 40 shot group of 15 millimeters. And you can see on the graph, there's a large amount of 10.6s, 10.7s and 10.8s. And it's actually give us a 636.62 overall score. I would recommend to the customer that the smallest roundest group with the combined with the highest scores possible would be the best to go for combined with the actual 10 shot groups that are as consistent as possible. Just goes to show there's lots of information here when testing at Ely. Consistency is the key to accuracy. Testing in a controlled environment. A clean rifle to start and clean after the test has finished. 